So this episode starts off, we see Rapunzel, she's going on painting, and then we hear Cassandra yelling, Fitz Herbert! And it messes Rapunzel's painting up. So we go ahead and we see Cassandra and Eugene are arguing right over here, and Cassandra's basically mad at Eugene for using her halberd, which is like an axe looking thing. So if I end up calling it an axe later on this video, it's because I probably forgot what it's called. But anyway, it's a halberd, apparently Eugene used it to shave his face or whatever, Eugene's like smooth as a baby's bottom right over here, and Cassandra's like, hey, I'm more like a monkey's bottom. Man, yo, Disney had absolutely no chill with this whatsoever. The comments that Cassandra and Eugene were saying at each other, oh my god, they were brutal. I don't know which one was better. I don't know if Eugene's comebacks were better or Cassandra's comebacks were better. That's the ultimate question within this episode itself. But nonetheless, we have Eugene kind of messing with the halberd or whatever, saying like, you're forgetting that Flynn Rider was a legend. I was great with all these types of weapons and all that stuff. And he ends up breaking one of the most irreplaceable vases of all time. It's like the only one that exists. It's the king's favorite vase. It's always there in the center table so everyone's like oh crap and Cassandra's like oh Eugene why don't you go ahead and steal him another one oh wait you can't it's the only one in existence and they're just going back at each other with the comebacks oh god it was hilarious it was pretty darn funny and then ultimately we end up having Rapunzel cleaning up the mess and everything like that and she goes on to like talk to Pascal and like say like listen I bet these guys would be really great friends if they could just go ahead and get along with each other and then she starts cooking up some little kind of scheme right over here so boom we end up seeing Pascal he's got like a little letter in his mouth he gives one to Cassandra and he gives one to Eugene. They both go ahead and read it and we end up finding ourselves in the dungeon right over here. Eugene goes on to say like, well, this seems like a pretty interesting place to apologize. But then again, it's grim and dark and creepy, kind of like Cassandra. Yo, man, these comments were so funny. But then we see Cassandra pop out of the shadows and she's like, whoa, what are you talking about? I ain't apologize to you. You're supposed to apologize to me. And Eugene's like, no, 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 what are you talking about? Just look at the letter right over here. And it's one of those classic things where two people ended up getting tricked to meet in one place and we see, boom, the cell doors are locked and we see Rapunzel with the keys right over here and basically when she goes on to say like listen you guys need to get along and there's no way you're getting out of here unless you work together and you solve all the riddles that I have placed in this cell because if you don't you're gonna be stuck here forever we even have like Rapunzel doing an evil laugh <laughs> oh my god Rapunzel what have you done but she also left them cookies so you know at least she did that for them then we see Eugene eat the cookies and a little crumb falls down underneath and it goes down to the cell below them and holy crap we end up seeing the two dudes from the first movie and holy crap I forgot their name uh, we'll just call them the twins for now we'll, we'll call them the evil twins right now uh, the evil twins are over there and of course they just happen to be right underneath the cell but, but oh boy I can already tell this is not gonna end up well so we have Cassandra and Eugene just bickering going on about each other giving them those left and right hooks with those comments on each other man no chill whatsoever so Cassandra trying to go ahead and think of a plan and Eugene is just basically there like nah we'll just wait it out wait for a puzzle to eventually get tired and let us out of the cell. But Cassandra noticed that there was some lettering within the cookies, and the cookies are actually a hint or whatever on like which tile to grab within the wall. They end up finding a tile to grab, and it's more uh, riddles and hints and all this stuff. So we have a huge sequence of events following all these riddles, until ultimately they end up with a giant pile of nuts and bolts, basically. But during that time, as they were looking for things, we see this other cellmate right over there, kind of like telling them to, to be quiet. He's kind of making fun of Cassandra. And the only time Cassandra and Eugene end up actually working well together is when they are were insulting that other dude so when you have a common enemy I guess you can kind of work things out for a little bit well not that long then we see Rapunzel she's all relaxed and calm she's like oh man peace and quiet then after all the insults and all that stuff Cassandra and Eugene actually end up having a little bit of a heart-to-heart -heart discussion Eugene's like listen Cassandra you're always making fun about me and my past and honestly I don't really know anything about you so why don't you go ahead and tell me something about your past and we actually find out that Cassandra actually has parents as well well obviously but she doesn't know anything about her parents the only father she really has is the captain of the guards or whatever so that's pretty darn interesting I thought the captain of the guards was her father but it looks like maybe she was adopted or something like that so that is quite interesting and I find that really funny because every time you see the captain and Cassandra together they don't really talk or say anything but Cassandra says like you know I really appreciate the captain he taught me right and wrong 
song, how to stand up for myself, and all that great stuff. Cassandra continues to talk, and Eugene's like, you know, sometimes I wonder what my family uh, would look like, and all that stuff. And Cassandra's like, well, listen, you know, I don't want you to talk. I don't want to talk to you about this anymore. Stop trying to pry into my life. And Eugene's like, listen, I'm not trying to pry. Every time I think I get to know you a little bit better, you start to open up. You always close your door on me, and all that stuff. So we had a nice little heart-to-heart -heart conversation right there, right over there. You really don't know anything about someone until you really get to know them and talk to them and all that great stuff. But Eugene, being this clever man that he is, he's like, wait a minute, pry, pry. I get what we're supposed to do with all this junk on the floor. We're supposed to build it and create some kind of pry thing so we can pry open the lock, and boom, they go ahead and start building. And then Rapunzel goes ahead and messes with the hall bird or whatever. She's kind of doing some tricks with it, and it ends up getting stuck on the ceiling, and then she just slowly walks away. So then we go back to Cassandra and Eugene. We are see they are trying to pry open the lock or whatever, and they're, and they're both kind of arguing with each other on which way to actually handle this thing, and Eugene's like, listen, it's all about the leverage, and then the thing ends up breaking, and all the pieces, conveniently, of course, happen to fall down the cell below where the evil twins are there, and they're like, no! <laughs> like, oh my god, no! Oh, rest, rest in peace. Oh, gosh, pal. See the evil twins start uh, building this thing so they can go ahead and pry the lock themselves. And then we see Rapunzel and Pascal. They're playing cards, and Pascal's like, listen, I think it's about time you go ahead and check on them because they both could have probably killed each other by now. So Rapunzel decides to go ahead and check on them. But then we see the evil twins knock out a guard, and they open the cell for Eugene, and they're like, hey, what's up, Ryder? And then they can hear the guard saying, oh, no, the twins have escaped. So the then the evil twins decide to take Eugene and Cassandra, kind of like as a human shield, against the guards so they can go ahead and escape. The twins are stopped by the guards, but the twins are like, hey, you wouldn't want anything bad to happen to these guys or whatever. And we see the captain looking at Cassandra like, oh no, Cassandra, this and that, lower down your weapons. And oh man, you can see the tension is pretty high up there. We see Rapunzel going on there. She's like, oh hey, everybody's here. What's up, guys? I guess my plan worked. Holy crap, what's happening right now? So the captain tells the guards to lower down their weapons and then the twins go ahead and escape through this little tunnel right over here. The guards go after them, but Rapunzel's like, wait a minute, I know where this tunnel leads because Cassandra showed me the way around here so Rapunzel decides to go ahead and take a shortcut. Meanwhile we have the guards chasing after the twins and the twins they do something I forget what they did but basically they had like the rocks collapse so the guards could not go after them and so now it's just the twins Cassandra and Eugene oh boy what's gonna happen over here the twins are basically gonna kill them and then he decided no you know what let's keep Cassandra as leverage right over here as a bargaining tip and all that great stuff meanwhile we'll go ahead and beat the snot out of Flynn Rider but, but Eugene and Cassandra happen to notice that they dropped the halberd on the floor so they're both kind of communicating with their eyes with each other like hey do this and do that and basically they end up putting the halberd like kind of at the edge of the tip of where this wooden piece is Cassandra ends up kicking it which breaks this top wooden piece right over here which lands on the twins and they are unconscious and that's how you handle a halberd well you know it's all about the leverage and all that great stuff so with the power of teamwork and sign language they were able to overcome the twin and then we see Rapunzel over there at the hole she's like guys I'm glad you're okay she uses her long hair they manage to climb up and hooray the day is safe. So then we go ahead and we see Rapunzel and Eugene. They're talking. Rapunzel's like, listen, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done that to you. And Eugene's like, basically, yeah, that wasn't really your smartest idea, Blondie. But nonetheless, I guess I'll try to be nicer to the evil dragon lady that you like so much, Cassandra, and all that great stuff. And then, you know, they're basically talking about like, now listen, Eugene, I'm sure everything's okay. Sure, it was my father's priceless vase and everything like that. Or Voss, you know, which way do you say it? Is it vase or Voss? I have no idea. But nonetheless, they are talking and Rapunzel's like, I'm sure you'll be fine. Last time somebody did this one thing, and actually I think he's in jail and everything like that. And Eugene's like, okay, you're not helping me. So they go inside and see that the vase for the boss is perfectly intact. Everything's all good. So like, huh, what's going on right over here? And we see Cassandra holding some glue behind her. She's like, hey, hey, I got you, bro. Nonetheless, dinner is over. Eugene goes ahead and talks to Cassandra like, hey, Cassandra, I really appreciate what you did for me. I owe you a solid. Cassandra's like, well, I figured if the king decided to exile you or kill you, Rapunzel would be crying. And, and, and Cassandra's like, ah, I, I ain't about that life and all that stuff. So it looks like we have a happy, good, established relationship going on right over here. But then Cassandra's like, hey, where's my halberd? And Eugene's like, listen, I don't know where your halberd is. Cassandra's like, I can't believe you're going to lie to my face. And Eugene's like, ha, lie to your face. I don't even want to look at your face. Why you? And we see, of course, that Rapunzel was the last one with the halberd. And she just slowly walks away. So that beautiful relationship that we finally established, nope, it looks like it's going down the toilet. It looks like things are basically going to stay the same. So that was basically the episode right over there. What can I say? I really enjoyed the episode right over here. We got to see the return of the evil twins from the original movie. And of course, they were actually at their wedding too. So it was pretty interesting to see them. I could have sworn they were going to get their heads chopped off because, of course, in the movie, Eugene was supposed to get his head chopped off and all of that stuff. And as for Eugene and Cassandra's relationship, I'm pretty sure it's still going to be the same. I don't think this episode is really going to change things. I'm still pretty I'm still pretty sure they're going to be neck and neck at each other. Maybe not.
not as much as they used to be, but there's definitely still going to be arguing with them and all that stuff. So remember, kids, if you have friends that don't really seem to get along too well with each other, just lock them up in a closet or something, and I'm sure they'll work out their differences just fine. So that's basically it, guys. So what I want to know in the comment section below is what did you think of the episode? What did you think of Cassandra and Eugene? Who do you think had the best smack talk to each other? Was it Cassandra or was it Eugene? Leave all your comments in the comment section below, and if you liked the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, as that really helps me out. And until next time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say bye, pal. We'll see you real soon. <laughs>